all of a sudden I see him stand up, hold the Barbie leg, and hit the piece of Lego. And then I'm like, what? He's eight months old. You guys are all rock stars, Kiwi. Yes. Honestly, I still feel like we need to talk about this. Oh my god. No, Mom. <laughs> no, no. Why do we talk about that? Like, do you really think that, like, Dakota's face looks kind of squished? <laughs> I remember when the kids were really little, I'm like, Greg, we just need to let them figure out their own things. We just gotta let them explore and find for themselves. So we had like all sorts of things available to them. For me, Peyton and Drew, we didn't really have to leave the house to go, to go have a good time. We just go into the basement and we'd go to town for like three hours. Each brother, we'd fend for ourselves and you'd battle with one brother and then the other one would come at you and then just back and forth. There was a few moments for sure where I probably, probably went a little over top of my competitiveness. I think I was the one kid that if I didn't get what I wanted, I was giving it even harder and probably a little too hard sometimes. They have kids coming up crying once in a while for <laughs> its toes got slashed or shins got slashed. We always do like shootout competitions, someone would go in that, but once in a while we toss Madison in that. You know, the boys are like, come Madison, be a goalie for us. Like, well come shoot pucks, not a big deal. And kid you not, that is the last time I've ever been in that position in my life. She's like, why are you shooting at me? Well, that's a goalie. Like, <laughs> So how was your workout today? It's good. Yeah. Did some uh, bicep curls. Nice. Wow. <laughs> Remember when he was younger, I was like just vegging out and munching on food. And I look over to his room and this kid's like a seven-year-old kid doing curls in his room push-ups and he's got a six-pack. I'm like, what is this kid doing? He's really determined and focused. He has like one of those chin-up things outside of his bedroom door. I'm pretty sure he starts his day with a couple chin-ups. He's always active. At first, I wanted to be a bodybuilder as a kid. I'd wake up every morning, do curls in the shower, just uh, try to get the, the biceps looking good. Perhaps into the slot, shoots and scores! Shot left wing, they score. It's a shot he scores. Peyton Cribs. When we registered Dakota for Timbits, Peyton was like, I should be able to be playing. And we we're like, no, Peyton, you're not five yet. You got to be five. You're just holding me back. I loved hockey. And we had a little rink that I just did my little stops and starts on. And it just grew a passion that uh, was pretty awesome. I don't know a day that I couldn't skate or didn't love hockey. The seven rounds of this draft will serve as a turning point in the careers of these young players, in the lives of their families, and in the futures of their teams. It's such a surreal thing. You see it on the internet all the time of guys getting drafted in the NHL and you never realize like someone close to you could get drafted in the, so high in the NHL. It's astonishing actually. One of the biggest things is when you carry back when you walk up on the stage and he says welcome to the NHL. I think that'd be um, a pretty cool moment for me and my family. I'm living through him when he gets to do that and I'm feeling those emotions he's feeling and it's, I mean, I'm really excited to be able to watch him. It's like a collective um, moment where we're all just gonna be like, this is so cool that Peyton gets to experience this and we all get to be a part of it. I can't really think about it a whole lot or else I'll just like, ball. <laughs> <laughs> Have you caught yourself thinking about it though? Oh yeah. And then I'm like, okay, we can stop thinking about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, That's pretty cool. cool.